Hi everybody, Michael Stever here with the beautiful, talented Kristen Goodwin. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, Michael? Wonderful. It's kind of a precedent-setting night, isn't it? It is glorious. It's a little bit chilly, but we're ready to go. We are at the Hammerstein Ballroom here in New York City. We're here for 4talent.com with the 56th annual Drama Desk Awards. There's a lot of history here at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Tell us a little bit about it. I feel like you're the man in the know. Well, Kristen, the Manhattan Center, as it's called today, was actually built in 1906 by Oscar Hammerstein and was originally called the Manhattan Opera House. Not only that, but it also has served as a vaudeville house as well. It seats close to 3,000 people and features an exquisite hand-painted ceiling, all of which underwent an extensive restoration back in 1997 where it was then officially called the Hammerstein Ballroom. Does anyone know who, who the Drama Desk is, who they are? Do you? I do, yeah. Who are they? They're, they're a secret society. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> Obviously. It's like the hip Tonys, I guess, you know what I mean? I like that. They really moved it on up this yeah, year. I, I know we have tablecloths. This is the first Drama Desk Awards show I've been to. It's a real honor, and I think it's not, it's like the Golden Globes of the theater world, you know what I mean? They've really stepped this event up in such an extraordinary way, the black tie affair, and you know, all of the celebrity guests are coming now, so I'm just really thrilled to be a part of this wonderful, beautiful community. This is the first time they're doing it here, and it's a dinner, and it's televised, and it's all very thrilling. It's a big move for us, you know, going from LaGuardia, which was wonderful for 12 years, and now going to a gala and a ballroom, and, you know, a few bumps along the way is growing pains, as you have when you make a big move, but overall, I think it's really exciting. Your dress is gorgeous. Thank you. Very it's much. absolutely incredible. I love it. It's like you look fantastic. I Thank love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, it's she's a look. I was a little nervous that someone would be wearing this tonight on the carpet. So, you know, it's good that it didn't happen. <laughs> Anywhere you want to stand over, it's all right with me. How are you feeling this evening? Excited. Oh yeah. Ready. Ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Drama desk. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm grateful. I'm honored. I'm blessed. I'm, you know, I've got all. My, my, my Lombardi boys with me. I'm so excited to be here. This is so fun. I am on cloud nine. I'm just thrilled. I'm amazed, shocked. I am vibrating. Can't get over the high, so it's terrific. I, I've never been here before, except once, as I said, 40 years ago. You won this award, and then you're backstage, and then you're off stage, and now we're talking to you. Hi to mom and dad. <laughs> I feel good. You know, it's a little out of body, these things, where you're standing in front of a thousand people, trying to make up a speech, making up at the top of my head, and then down here looking in the camera. It's kind of a wild, you know? You got an accent that's just sort yeah. of a what is my accent? I'm curious. Yeah? Oh, it sounded Australian? It's really nice for those of us that perform downtown a lot um, because we sort of get to mingle with, with a lot of people that we don't hang out with that much. Uh, it's been an amazing season on and off Broadway this year and so much inspiring work that I've been inspired by. And well, It's an incredible feeling. Uh, we are kind of the underdogs in this group. I'm in the category for solo show. I'm theater. nominated this I'm, year. You are? Yeah. What does a Drama Desk Award really mean to you and how is it unique in the theater community? Community. Well, the theater is very special in and of itself, and so it's very hard to be in the theater. I've always wanted to be an actor since I'm a little kid. We just dove into this, and I speak for Rebecca and I, we, we, were, we just loved it so much. If everything goes well, I'll take home a prize, you know, <laughs> you, know you know, a gift, I got a gift. Inside, I've heard there's food, so that's, that makes me feel relaxed. Don't tell me that. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm here for days. Supposedly, there's food. We get free dinner and <laughs> just hang out with our cast, so I'm excited for that. Everyone's so excited about the dinner this evening. <laughs> we're actors. We love free food. <laughs> I never saw a cameraman in a thousand dollar suit before. The whole time. It looks great, right? Hey, I know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I 
How you doing, Kristen? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, Michael? Great. We're a little sweaty down here, right? We are very sweaty. Daniel Radcliffe had to tell us to get on the stage. <laughs> we said, we're all standing there. We're like, what? What? And he goes, said, what? You better get up there. What? I saw Book of Mormon last night, and it was like the greatest thing I have ever seen. So to be nominated with those guys is incredible. I'm nominated for uh, Best Actor in a Musical for the Book of Mormon. Um, I'm very excited. I mean, I, I can't, I sort of can't believe it, but here we are. Uh, but the Book of Mormon just won. Yes. Yeah. The, the coolest thing about writing something that's a little bit out there is that you just have no idea. It's kind of like this crazy science experiment um, that you, that's, there's no way to test for. You just don't, you just do it and you put it out there and then you watch what happens. And do you have any advice for those struggling to be acknowledged in the industry? My goodness, just keep going. Just keep going. Never, never stop. Don't give up. If you are passionate about the theater, you have to give it a good, good shot and learn your craft. Uh, don't try to be anybody else. The people who, uh, you know, who make it, stay true to themselves. Just do it, you know, don't ever think I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too dark, I'm too light, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny. Never, never accept no for an answer.